Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Um, so, I hear tale, and I've looked it up. There is a newer update for Sky Factory. It's 253, but I can't find patch notes anywhere uh, for what they changed from 252 to 253. So, if anybody knows uh, where to find the patch notes, toss a link in the disc or in the uh, comments below, and I'll appreciate the information. Um, I didn't like dig around for hours for them or anything, but apparently Google can't find them. So um, they might be on the Curse uh, Network site page somewhere, um, but Google can't find them. So if anybody knows exactly where the patch notes are for 253, let me know. Anyway, so today, this episode, um, let me just review what we did in the stream. I actually got a bit less done than I intended to do and a bit more done in a different area well this area but a different thing that I wasn't planning on doing so we were gonna decorate this entire area here this entire platform I got about a quarter of it done <laughs> and uh, then got sidetracked doing um, research and uh, got a whole bunch of new blocks and stuff unlocked so this is the Silverwood farm Silverwood trees grow in a 5x5 five five area, and whenever they grow, you see these little the logs sticking out of the sides here? These actually have logs under them that dig into the ground. So whatever you have here, whatever dirt you have there, it'll get replaced by a log. But the tree will grow if you have the sapling in this spot right there in the middle. Uh, the tree will still grow if those spaces are air if they're totally empty so you don't have to worry about replacing dirt uh, these do take a while to grow um, they took like probably half an hour to get all four of these to actually pop up it was quite some time but I needed the silverwood planks so I finally got those um, made what I was making with them which we'll get to here in a second and used a few to decorate with along with this warded glass now this stuff it's totally unbreakable you can't do anything to it unless you get your wand, which I don't have, but you right click on it with a wand and it pops into your inventory. So it's uh, really good for uh, if you need something to be really solid or protected from people. That's the kind of stuff you want to use. Is uh, Any kind of warded block will be like that. Uh, we also have these niter things. I researched these before. They're just like little fires. They emit light and they have little particle effects and stuff and they look cool and uh, then we have this glowing amber it looks just like an amber block but it glows and that's uh, four pieces of amber around one of these niter pieces uh, there's two textures for that one that's a solid block and one that's the little amber block the little bricks it's like cut in four uh, and they're basically the same recipe just one is the amber on the sides one is the amber in the corners so if you guys like the amber block textures uh, for lighting, or would like to use them for lighting, uh, that's your bet right there. That's what you want to use. Uh, I also had some of these little shimmer leaves lying around. Uh, you can craft these into Quicksilver and straighten your inventory. Just you put them in a crafting slot and it gives you the large Quicksilver piece. But uh, I have Quicksilver magical crops growing, or I did. I think I took it down, but I got plenty enough for. Uh, to last me a while. So I just use these for decoration because they have little particles and shiny things that go on. And uh, made this kind of like a little commons area here in the trees and planted the trees around it. I still kind of want to do something with the empty space here, but I'm not too worried about it. And I also have some of these niter um, flames on the sides just to keep the edges in the back lit up so we don't have mobs spawning out here. Anyway, uh, on the opposite end, we've got our ME system here, the Arcane Crafting Terminal. I don't have any way to store items in this yet, because uh, I only have the Essentia storage cells put in here. Uh, so this system is to store Essentia with. So, it, the Essentia works a lot like the Fluid system in the regular ME uh, system thing. 
So the Essentia terminal is like the fluid terminal. You can open it up, look at the different Essentia you have, uh, put them in with vials or even jars if you have these warded jars here with Essentia in them. You can put them there, it puts it in your system, or you can select one, put a jar in, and then take some out with the jar. So really handy for storing your Essentia if you don't have a lot of jars or you want to automate it like I did. Uh, this took probably less work than I put into it, but I was looking at the wrong item in the research tree. I could have made this a lot sooner and a lot easier, but I was actually looking at the wrong item. So uh, finally got this put together and working. So we have an alchemical furnace here. This is just like a regular furnace. Say you put um, some kind of item in the top that you want to break down into its component parts. Fuel in the bottom. And it's got a little bit of a storage space inside of it on the left. And it has a fuel countdown thing on the right. Uh, so you put an item in there, it cooks down, breaks down into its component parts. Each of those parts like say great wood planks only have arbor only have the tree essence in them so the tree would go the tree essence would go in this first alembic here be processed and exported through the pipe into this jar if it has multiple types like say this vis filter we've got 31 beast and 31 fabric or cloth or whatever that one is um, so the beast would go to the first slot the cloth to the second and then on and on and on and anytime there's a available space, uh, which would be this, this jar here, they'll start exporting into the jar or whatever connected space you have here. And then from the jar, there's a Essentia import bus. So that immediately pulls the Essentia from the jar into the ME system and stores it here, just like it was a fluid system. So that's my setup for now. I'm going to have to craft a bunch of these little vial or file things so I can use this stuff for crafting or make a couple of more jars but uh, this took like a couple of hours I think I streamed for about five hours maybe five and a half uh, or five and 45 minutes but um, got a whole bunch of new research and stuff done oh another cool thing the arcane crafting terminal holds a set of armor for you so you can just click this little swap armor button and switch between your thumbcraft armor and your regular like combat or whatever other armor that you want to wear. Really, really handy. Uh, so I have the armor taken off of this stand here. Okay, let's see. Um, speaking of the furnace and stuff, so the crucible is the first thing I was using to break down items into their parts. And there's an upgrade to the crucible where you make two alchemical constructs and place them on top of it and then it does not require water to run anymore it just requires a heat source underneath it I don't want to stand in that uh, so if I go ahead and upgrade this we can get rid of this little water system back here and um, replace these blocks that we messed up in the back uh, plus it's a bit more useful uh, this system with the crucible, if you have extra Essentia or Vis or whatever you want to call it, magical bits in here, they eventually evaporate out and cook off and release this uh, flux stuff out into the world, which is hazardous to your health and you know causes negative effects and stuff. Or um, it makes it hard for you to actually use Essentia or Vis or whatever in crafting, like it adds... Um, penalties to you. And I think it adds penalties to draining nodes also. Something like that. I don't remember exactly, but it's bad news. So we're going to try to avoid it. But uh, So to make the alchemical constructs, I've got one here I just made. Uh, you have to go to an arcane work table or even the arcane crafting station on the ME system works. Uh, you use the Essentia tubes, valves, vis filters and some great wood planks along with five water aspect and five order aspect so you need to have like a wand that has a little bit of charge to it uh, these valves are just tubes with levers and a little bit of uh, water in order and the filters are silverwood planks with gold on the sides 
a little bit of water in order also. And uh, this is what I need the sil needed the silverwood planks for originally. So we waited on those for quite some time. That's when I got a bunch of research done. Speaking of research, uh, I got the lamp of growth researched. Fling, there we go. I'll end up making one of those eventually. Uh, but to get it to work, to, to get it to actually grow stuff faster, you need to give it Herba Essence or Essentia. So that's why I had to make this set up here so I could actually get some of that to use in the Lamp of Growth. So Anyway, uh, we need a second alchemical construct. I've got it all laid out here. Got my wand in there. I'm wearing my Thomic set of uh, armor so I get all the discounts. Also, this is a new wand. I don't know if I showed this off. I made it a great wood wand core and added gold caps to it. So it's got a little bit of a discount on everything. Uh, Alright, so there's our second alchemical construct. Now, if I'm reading it correctly, all I have to do is stack these on top of the crucible. And then wand it. Do I just tap it? Let's see if that works. Shift click. Huh. Alright, let's hit the bug real quick. And then I have to find out where the thing is. Oh, here's a lamp of growth, by the way. Uh, does not cast much light unless you give it Herba Essentia. If this is done, any plants which grow where its light shines, the brightest will grow much faster than normal. So you have to give it Herba Essentia and you have to um, have it near what you want to grow faster. So we might not be using these. I might put one in the um, Magical Crops farm and then feed it with like a Tesseract or something. Not quite sure what I want to do with it, but uh, the research is there. Uh, the other one is the Lamp of Fertility. That one, I think, uh, increases the rate that animals breed or cuts down their cooldown time after they breed. I don't know. That's just my guess. Maybe it auto-breeds animals? I'm not sure. Anyway, we are looking for... I think it's here in the alchemy thing. That's the one that makes sense. Automated alchemy? Yeah, here we go. So, crucible, alchemical construct, alchemical construct. And then we need 30 ordo, water, and 15 ignis. Okay, so the wand actually has to have charge in it. That might be the issue. I've only got five order in there. Uh, order and water. Yeah, I've only got five of each. So let's go to the mob farm. This is where I've been recharging my wands. You just put your wand on the hotbar. Go to your conveniently located mob grinder farm and kill some stuff and they drop all the energy you'll need uh, for me the water ones are kinda hard to get I think only the magma cubes have them why is this guy kinda glitchy okay alright experience get out of my face there Let's see how's that look Looks like we're capped at 50 on everything. Uh, the top left corner of the screen has a little um, little graphic that shows how full each of the aspects is in your wand. And if you hold shift, it actually puts a number there so you can see a number. But each of those little colored bars will fill up as you fill your wand with each uh, Essentia type. So now that we have it full, Let's hop on back. 
And what? We got a molten iron fluid cow here? Wow. And me without a safari net. Or a golden lasso or anything. Alright. Well, let's tap this. There it goes. Okay. Had to tap the construct, not the uh, thing itself, not the crucible. Uh, let me go grab something to pick up this cow with. Ooh. Give it a second to load my world. Please excuse the frame rate dip momentarily. While I. Oh, wow, that's bad. Okay. Make my way over here to get a safari net. And we can jump back. Hopefully, he didn't walk off the edge in those couple of seconds. Nope, still there. Gotcha. Alright. And we'll keep that guy safe. Alright, so. Alchemical Construct. Apparently, this thing acts just like the Crucible, but you don't lose anything. So, what if we put... Huh. How does this work? Maybe I should read the article? Yeah, maybe I should read the article. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, Thaumatorium. Marvelous invention that allows a thaumaturge to select which formula to use and what catalyst to add, then automatically draws Essentia from available sources using tubes. As long as there's a supply of catalyst, it produces the required object perfectly every time. Okay, so basically I need to put pipes to this, and then um, I can use that system over there to uh, add Essentia to this and then exactly use what I need instead of having the extra overflow here. That's pretty neat actually. So let's see. To make... see that doesn't do anything. So to turn a piece of coal into one of these alumentums I need uh, three ignis, three, uh, what is this one, the entropy, and three energy. So fire, entropy, and energy makes that. Do I have all of these in here? I don't have any of those in there. Okay, let's break down some coal. That'll be the energy and fire. Now we need entropy. Um, I might not have any of that. Man, these necrotic bones, though. That's got a lot of stuff in it. Huh. Well, anyway, I guess you guys get the idea. Uh, we can pull the Essentia that we need from the system here, put it in jars like our fluid system works, go over here, hook it to a pipe, so then it'll draw that from the pipe and go into here, use the exact amount that it needs, and then we can probably keep the extra in a jar and put it back for later use. So this will save me uh, a bit of hassle, it seems. I'm just going to leave that coal in there. Why not? Sheep. Um, let me go through some of this other research that we did. I got the Essentia Crystallization and the Centrifuge. Uh, these allow you to turn the Essentia, which is basically like fluid or vis or whatever, the stuff that our system has there. That's like the fluid version. Uh, we can put a little crystallization thing on top of this and start turning that into crystals, which are like the solid item version of each essence and then store them away in the ME system using regular item storage drives 
but I'm not doing that quite yet. Maybe later I'll get into that. Uh, this is our jar research and then like the labels and then there's a void jar that you can use that's like a deletion like a trash can or whatever so if you have nowhere to put any essence in a jar it'll just go to this void jar and start deleting extras um, all of our transmutation stuff ethereal blooms all the different kinds of wand cores except for the forbidden ones uh, haven't done scepters or staves yet we got the node stabilizers and I have the research for the recharge pedestal, the wand recharge pedestal. Uh, I plan on getting that and setting it up probably right over there so it can draw from the ME system. I think that'll work. I've got the research page right here. I plan on doing that sometime later today. I'm not really in a big hurry to do it. Um, got a bunch of these wand focuses done the focus pouch here's the wand caps uh, copper gold silver and thomium these two are better than gold but you actually have to put them in the infusion altar which is the giant stone hinge construction thingy that I haven't done that I keep forgetting the name of it's called an infusion altar haven't built it yet I'm trying to decide if I want it over there or over there east or west I mean, it doesn't really matter either way uh, maybe west would be better since I have the crucible, I mean the um, furnace on this side, but I mean that's movable. This is all a modular system. Um, one focus portable hole. That one is really useful in like a solid actual world, not so useful in skyblock because there's nothing to walk through anyway. Uh, let's see, the artifice tab, we got all these paving stones, item grates. Uh, I've yet to do the Boots of the Traveler or the Runic Shield ring. These, I have like a ton of these rings already that I was getting from loot bags a while back. Then we've got that belt thing here, I'm missing some research to get that unlocked. Uh, these magic mirrors, hand mirror and essential mirror, these act like tesseracts for items but the handheld thing is one way you can only put items in to send it to your like output location and the mirror that goes down on the ground is like a object in the world um, goes both ways it's like a tesseract for items and then we have our um, infusion altar tool upgradable item uh, weapons and tools here haven't done any of the research for those yet uh, Golemancy, nothing. <laughs> Haven't started Golemancy yet. I want to make a giant area, probably off one of these sides, maybe like, you know, kind of off to the side somewhere, around a corner. That's like a big area, maybe this size, like a 15 by 15 or so, that the golems can just walk around in and do stuff, just do random tasks in. Atomogy, haven't really done anything here. Uh, it has picked up a couple of entries from other schools and from other tabs but I haven't actually started any research here myself the X asterisk thumbcraft also this has picked up a few things from other tabs um, I did the great wood and silver wood from the sky entries vishroom silver leaf uh, did those and the vis filter did that one uh, and a thomian barrel haven't made any of this stuff the way it wants you to do it here. Uh, I took the easy way out. These are more difficult. They're for like really early game Thomcraft, so I don't have to go this route, but I can if I need to. Um, this tab is for this is Apocrypha. Apocrypha? I don't know how to say it. Anyway, this is the Batania add on. This is to go from uh, the Forbidden Magic and Botania. So I haven't done any of that yet. And then Energistics. This is the one I did all the work in on the stream. So we've got like the um, import and export buses for the Essentia system, the crafting terminal, uh, mirrors, pipes, distillation, drives, this warded door, which I have. I made one and scanned it. 
Um, that can only be accessed by the player that places it or by somebody that has a key that's coded to the door. Um, the uh, node stabilizer thing, a relay interface for the VIS and Essentia system, this weird like gearbox thing that is like the um, the little gearbox that has a wooden handle on it that you punch and it goes around and grinds stuff like a pulverizer but this one allows you to have like multiple people or even I guess golems can click on it that seems like what it wants you to do with it it says uh, if only you had someone who would stand around all day and crank this for you so I'm assuming you can just tell a golem to hit that and it'll uh, automate for you anyway but that's like all the entries I've done got all these node tapping preserving node in a jar uh, research mastery duplication all these things. I've yet to see one of these peck guys. Petch, peck, peach, whatever. Uh, I've yet to see any of those guys anywhere. So, anyway, um, so if you guys have any cool ideas for like the infusion altar or a golem area to add on out here, throw them in the comments below. I will review them and I will eventually get around to actually building stuff in this area that's not just add-ons to what I have. So uh, that's going to do it for this episode, just getting you guys caught up. Um, and until next time, have fun, have a good day, take care, and I'll see you next time.